Hi everyone, it is me, the nerd. First off, I want to say thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe so you'll be notified as I do post pretty regularly. So let's get started. Uh, since we are doing a progressive style playthrough and last night was the horde night, I did up a couple of the settings. Our zombie night speed was changed from jog to run and the zombie feral speed was also changed from jog to run. Um, those are the only ones I felt really comfortable with changing as of right now. Uh, I would imagine that after the next horde night we'll be changing some more. Um, I haven't decided what they are yet. If you have any suggestions on ones that you'd like me to change, uh, or even if you just need me to go back over the settings as they stand right now, I'm more than happy to do so. So let's, uh, let's get going. One thing that I did notice that we haven't done in a while, I hear somebody walking outside. One thing that we haven't done in a while is uh, put some perk points in. So we have, uh, what do we have available already that we can up here? <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. Can we do salvage operations? Yes, because we definitely still have a lot more uh, looting that we need to do. So let's. Can I buy you? You let me buy you. There we go. Okay. So, um, anything else that we want in here? Can we do javelin? Yes. Okay. Let's do that one. We do use our spear quite a bit. It's very handy, so there's no reason not to. Um, we don't need pack mule. Our our uh, uh, I forget what it's called. Our inventory space is already maxed out thanks to our pockets, so that we're okay with. We definitely need to uh, work on our stamina regen. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Oh, we can get we can max it out. Okay, you are now cage gladiator and have risen to the highest athletic prowess possible. Reduce melee and tool stamina uses by 25% and power attacks by 50. Killing blows grant 30 stamina. Yes, please. We definitely need to have that maxed out. We Our stamina just kills us sometimes. Almost literally. Um, now... I'm not quite sure what else to get here. I feel like I want to get the next level in these as well. Uh, at least for sure in the Advanced Engineering and the Grease Monkey. Because um, this Forge Recipes cost 10% less, which is awesome. That's definitely helpful as we're getting into some of the more advanced crafting and stuff is so expensive right now. Plus then we can craft generators and electric fences and blade traps. I mean we can do all kinds of stuff with this. So and then we can also learn how to craft motorcycle parts which we never did go back and make our mini bike new we should but i feel like we won't need to if we learn how to make a motorcycle you know what i mean so let's go ahead and let's get this oh and this also uh deal 250 percent headshot damage and have a 30 percent chance to dismember with stun batons, which we haven't really played around with too much, and junk turrets. Maybe we should. Maybe we should start using one just to kind of see uh, how those do against the zombies. So, and then this is all for bartering, isn't it? Oh, nearby alleys. Oh, we don't have that. <clears throat> First aid. Yes, <laughs> that is kind of a given. We need 
this will give us 10% more health and heal over time 20% faster and gain 20% more XP using bandages, first aid bandages, first aid kits, and splints. So yes, let's go ahead and wait before I max that out though, let's make sure there's nothing over here that we want uh, hip fire accuracy and, and movement penalty when reloading is reduced 20%. That one, especially on horde nights, and especially if we're going to be running around at night, that one might actually come in handy. What's this one? One-handed melee attack speeds are increased by 5%, so that's not a huge increase, to be honest. Uh, movement penalty for light armor. And improved durability unlocks leather armor crafting. Okay. Three light. Where do I find? This is all light armor, isn't it? So where might one find the heavy armor? Hmm. Not this one. Nope. There we go. What kind of... Let's take a look here. What kind of armor are we using right now? It's all... It's all leather. Okay. So. We... Are going to take some of that. We're going to get one of those. And I'm not too worried about the parkour. Sneak attacks. Okay. <clears throat> that one sounds good too. Oh goodness, there's so many. Uh, you feel a little better than you used to. Deal 200%. 210% headshot damage and have 10% chance to dismember with fists and machine guns. It's an interesting combination. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Okay. And this one costs two points, which is all we have left. Hmm. Tough call for sure. But I think... I think I'm going to go ahead. Oh, yeah. With bows, handguns, and knives. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then... Oh, I have to do another one. Okay. And now we don't have any points left for this, but <clears throat> when we do level up, we can uh, come back and assign that. So we've used up all of those for right now. Now we have some repairs to our horde base that we need to make. So let's see, we do have some cement here and we do have some concrete mixed there. To do this, we still need stone and sand. So let's. Where did my stone go? There it is. Okay. So we can go ahead and get that mixed up. And then we can start making up some more cement from what we have in here. Oh, I need. I need some wood before I can do that. There we go. So, oh, we still had some left in there. Did we, um, oh, 
we still have plenty of stone. Nice. Get a whole bunch of that cooking. Because in addition to the the base layout that I have right now, I want to make kind of an outer ring for it to kind of slow the zombies down a little bit. And I am hoping that between that and upgrading our garage doors that we'll actually be able to keep them out. I also want to make um, the barbed wire fences because I feel like that will definitely slow them down. Hopefully. Maybe. Or they'll just climb on top of each other. I'm not really sure which, but let's, they did tear apart our door, so we definitely need to make another door. So we need some six springs, 12 mechanical parts, and then a whole bunch of iron. So let's grab our springs. Oops, one too many. <clears throat> One too many again. And then iron. Any iron? I do. Okay. I'm not going to count out 240 iron. Sorry. Alright. So, we got that going. Let's see. Forge iron. Let's craft up 50 of these because I know. Oh, I need more iron in here. We used up all of our iron. That's bad. I, mean, I do have that raw iron here. Okay. <clears throat> Put that in there. Apparently, we used quite a bit of iron in our crafting yesterday. So, I am going to get some, I want to get like 50 forged iron and 50 forged steel, and I'm going to take it over there with me with the garage door, because I really want to try and upgrade it. I'm not sure what it will take to upgrade it, it doesn't really tell me what it's missing, it just says that it needs more of whatever that, um, <clears throat> resource is. It doesn't give me an amount, unfortunately, which I think is kind of silly if you ask me, but I am not the one that made the game. So maybe that's a tip for someone. And then... <clears throat> forged iron that I had. I know I had some. Where'd it go? <clears throat> Did I just dump it in here? No. That's interesting. Apparently I have some forged iron somewhere that I don't know about. six more so that's a total of 18 which is not too shabby but not nearly enough for what we need I'm going to wait for the rest of this iron to cook down because I really, like I said, I want to get that forged iron going. I'm fairly certain it's forged iron that upgrades the garage door. It doesn't really give me a whole lot of instruction here <laughs> on the best way to upgrade it. 
and that sort of thing. So, like I said, we're gonna wait for this um, iron to cook down and we're gonna see how much forged iron we can get out of it. So, iron is definitely going on my shopping list of stuff that we need. Okay, we are back and most of our iron has cooked down by now. And uh, we have just over 2,300 iron in our forge, which is great. I did take the opportunity while I was waiting for this stuff to cook to run back over to our hoard base, clean up all the wood. I didn't do anything else other than clean up all the scrap wood that had fallen. And then I also harvested all of our trees. Where's our trees at? So they can all regrow and we can get some more wood out of them. Uh, I did get quite a bit of wood. I think two and a half, maybe three stacks, full stacks of wood. So we need, oh, and I did find that I had some forged iron over there already. So we've got 60 forged iron right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do another 40 of that. And then for forged steel, I'm going to do another 30. And we'll see if that will allow us to uh, upgrade our garage door here the way that we're looking to. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the stone while I'm at it. I'm going to grab this concrete. Should be enough for repairs. I'm not quite certain on that to be honest with you. Okay, so now we have our forged iron and our forged steel and we have our garage door. So let's run over to our other house and let's see if we can upgrade this. I did make some other doors. I hadn't had doors for a while. The zombies kept running in whenever they felt like it. Like it was their house or something. So we're going to run over to our horde base and we're going to see what kind of upgrades that we can make over here. Like I said, I am wanting to add like an outer ring to it and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. I don't know if I want to just have another garage door on the outside or if I have ramps or if I just do like line everything with barbed wire, I'm not, I, I need to think about this. Um, oh, there's a nice coal deposit right there. I would definitely need that. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know on what is going to be best. I don't want to just make two garage doors. They're going to, um, bust through in a matter of minutes like they did on this one but at the same time i do want to be able to get in and out of it pretty easily so let's see here 60 60 forged iron and that's as far up as we can go now how many just for giggles. How much HP? 4,000. That's not bad. That's not a bad trade off at all. Um, definitely better than what it was. Alright, let's go ahead and start doing our base. Oh! Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's take this out of our inventory. Don't want to be using all that up. That's expensive stuff, man. So is the concrete, but I definitely do not want to be doing all of this up to uh, metal just yet. So I'm going to make these repairs. And then we'll see what's going on after that. 
Okay, so we did finish our repairs, our concrete repairs. I did go ahead and upgrade the top layer of blocks as far around as I could. We need a little bit more cement mix and concrete mix before we can finish that. But then it's just the top layer that needs to be rebuilt and probably upgraded. We might upgrade that to the cobblestone rocks uh, just to give it some extra durability. Um, for the Horde Knight, but that layout actually worked fairly well for us. We were able to kind of kite them around the pillars, and we didn't actually die, which is quite nice. I think if I had had my junk turret facing the other way, facing inwards, or even facing the stairs, um, at the top of the stairs, I think that would have made like a huge difference in our ability to survive up there. I think we would have lasted quite a bit longer um, because it would have kept the zombies in a confined area and it would have, uh, like I said, given us the opportunity to kind of kite them around the pillars and um, allow that junk turret to really do some work on them. So I think that's definitely one thing that I'm uh, wanting to have as well just in case they do get inside the base again we kind of have that as a secondary plan my original plan was just to kind of uh, shoot them from the roof you know like you used to do in the old days um, and that lasted about two minutes <laughs> but that's okay and then um, maybe the other thing that we should do is have a supply of forged iron over there so we can keep that garage door upgraded um, and keep it repaired, basically. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that base. Like I said, I am going to add that out, outer ring to it and another layer to it. Um, and then I'm tossing around some ideas for the inside of it too. I'm not quite sure, maybe doing a little bit of a pit in there with some spikes at the bottom. Um, we'll see. I hear a screamer over here and I can't quite figure out. Oh, she's down in there. Oh, hello. Hello. Got her. Another one? Well, there's another one down there. There she is. Come here, lady. Check it out. I don't know where she is down here, though. Are you lost? Can I help you find something? Where are you? What are you guys doing down here? Oh, I missed her. Alright. Apparently there were just screamers down here having a grand old time. Oh, by the way, that is my, uh, more or less my strip mine. Not really a strip mine, but... I'll just run down here and show you guys real quick. I basically dug down bedrock and uh, oh, there's another one down here. No. No, they're farther up. But yeah, this is where I was collecting all the stone and stuff and a lot of the other resources that I needed. I figured I might as well, I'd already dug quite a bit. See, I can hear her. She's in here. 
What are you doing? I don't really want to dig through this to find her. But... It's weird. How did she get down there? This is a mystery now that I want to solve. Is it from... Over here, maybe? No, I don't... How did she get down there? Are there cave systems in here that I don't know about? Oh, what it... What? That's just death. Why on earth were you digging down? She ducked down. Why? Did she do that while I was over here mining and now like she's stuck? And this is her quickest way to get out? Something I can think of. Is this coal? What is that? It is. Nice. Come back for that. Okay. Somebody was digging there. What are you screaming for? She's actually out. She's definitely like tearing her way through. Let's see if we can find her. I'm gonna start digging this out, see if we can find her. Oh, okay. We found her. Stop jumping. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, she's mad. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to take out one more layer here just so we can see. I'd be willing to bet this goes straight up to that little spider hole we found. Yep. Well, that's a good way to die. Alright, well, I'm glad we figured that out. So, otherwise, every time I walk by here, I would just hear her. It would drive me insane not knowing where she was so all right let's go let's go find this hole that she dug and fill it back in we'll probably just make a frame a wood frame real quick there we go so at least like then we don't fall on the hole oh we should probably make one more There we go. I would hate to be running through here and then all of a sudden just fall to my death down there. So yeah, that uh, that was interesting. Apparently, apparently they can just dig for days. Took her a while, but she got down there. So now that we have solved that mystery of the universe, let's see what else we can do we've got all that done what do we have in here oh we have some more cement 
And then I did start crafting up enough forged steel so that we could uh, start working on a motorcycle. So before we get going on this, let's set that to start mixing up. Put this and this in here. We put away all my junk real quick. So we need forged steel. The other thing we need, well, the other things we need is we need two wheels. I don't know if I have two wheels. Let me go look. I have, I have one wheel. I have one wheel there and, oh, I do. I do. Wonderful. And we need an engine. And then we need a battery. I don't know as though it matters what durability the battery is. And then we need a chassis. So we need 30 forged steel, 12 mechanical parts, 12 duct tape, 12 leather, and three electrical parts. We should have all of that. Let's see here. Try not to overcount this time. Uh, 12 mechanical parts, three electrical parts. I'm gonna grab my stack of duct tape and a stack of leather. What else did we need? Uh, cool, we can make that. Six minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. So, headlight, six electrical parts, and 12 more mechanical parts. We have all of this, which is wonderful. 12 there, and six there. Cool. Motorcycle handlebars craft. So in about seven or eight minutes, we will have a motorcycle. That's that's really cool. That's really awesome. All right, we have our motorcycle. Let's go put it down outside. Let's see what we need. Come on. Nice. Let's put... I took all of my gas. Okay. Oh. <laughs> see how it does. We'll take a trip over to our base real quick. Oh, it uses so much gas, though. Ooh. Cool. How much storage does it have? <gasps> oh, this will be so nice for loot runs. Yes. So much more than that bicycle that we had. I did grab the rest of the cement that I had made up. Please let this be enough. It is. Okay. Oh, everything's upgraded. And we have a motorcycle. It's got spikes on the front of it and everything. 
I'm gonna go run down a couple zombies. Let's go find a couple zombies to run down real quick. I don't have. Oh, whoa. Let's try that again. Let's go back into town and find a couple zombies. Oh, it's squirrely. Definitely had worse vehicles in this game. Alright, zombies. I'm ready for you. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Found one. Alright, ready? Is she dead? No. Come on, lady. Cooperate. <laughs> I can't tell if we're even doing damage to her. We have to be. Can we? Whoa! 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 Wasn't cool. You dead now? Now you're dead. Okay. Nice. So, not super effective for killing zombies, but fun. Definitely fun. Does use quite a bit of gas, though. That might be because I've got my foot down, so to speak. Because I feel like if you're sprinting, it goes faster. It does. Alright, where... We need to get back home. Because it is nighttime, and now these guys are going to be running. So, yeah. We have... Oh, there's a tree farm. We have a motorcycle now, which is awesome. We've got a very... I should probably turn the headlight off. Cool. Let's close our doors. Nice. All right. I think that is going to be a good place to wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.